He stood there, waiting outside the elevator, feeling restless, looking at the display above as the number started to ascend. His heart raced as the elevator destined to its desired floor. He looked at his wristwatch and the needles was placed in such a way they were showing a 90 degree angle. She usually comes at 11 a.m. He says to himself. Welcome again guys to today's episode on Lagos Rush. We're logging in our entertainment section of this channel. Sit back and relax. Hold on. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. Again. So, you know what? I'm gonna continue from where I started from. No need to talk, no need to say so much. Soundtrack. His heart started thumping faster and faster while his mind replayed the questions. He wanted to ask for the 200th time like Ozo on Big Brother Ninja. <laughs> the display pinged distracting him and he looked when the elevator reached the third floor. The door slides and he stepped out. A eyes first fell on his neck and then she raised her head to see his face. His eyes were already fixed on hers. Fixation. He was tall and majestic and she was all the opposite of that of what he was. This and this. <laughs> Their eyes finally met making him forget every word that was rehearsed even seconds before her eyes grew bigger seeing him look at her there is definitely something in those eyes he thought the same sentence crossed her mind at the very same time she moved to leave and he caught her hand as a reflex action she jacked while her eyes searched the entire reception area not wanting someone to start an unnecessary gossip follow me he said pulling her towards the fire exit he pushed open the door and started to descend the flight of stairs dragging her behind him he finally stood in between both the floors she followed quietly not saying a word she looked at him as he turned and saw a questioning gaze. Her eyes dropped on her hand, which was still locked in the firm grip of his hand. His eyes followed hers, knowing what it was, he removed it immediately. Sorry, was all that he would think of but his lips never moved. Her eyes met ease again. He looked so intense, shortening his breath. They looked at each other like they were about to kiss. Oh my God. Not able to breathe, gasping for breath. I need oxygen, he said. You don't mean it. What? She asked confused and concerned. Are you able to breathe? He asked abruptly 
moving inches closer wait for it she gave a shy smile responded what a sight and what a moment wait for it yes responding i need an extremely large amount of oxygen excuse me he said dashing out of the door that is pumping and needs oxygen to breathe the moment he left she gasped for air remembering to breathe again and that's the end of the story what else are you waiting for it's a short story you want it to be longer no this ain't gonna go longer than this so tell us what you feel about these short stories and um how um relative they are to life experiences yes we do see them in the movie who we'll since that accent it is things into short movies as well but we are doing this as a first or pre pre shot movies if that is even correct but um thank you for staying tuned to this very channel and thank you for subscribing and if you have not subscribed already um we would like you to actually do subscribe right here and if you have any comments to make or any suggestions or any innovative ideas kindly share under this very place which is the comment section of this channel so thank you very much guys i still remain your guy debs in the building so lagos rush cheers see you next time bye